Two years before the allegations of sexual harassment and abuse against Harvey Weinstein became public, his own brother and business partner, Bob Weinstein, confronted him, pleading with him to get medical treatment for what he described as many years of misbehavior. You have brought shame to the family and your company through your misbehavior, Bob Weinstein wrote. Your reaction was once more to blame the victims or to minimize the misbehavior in various ways. If you think nothing is wrong with your misbehavior, so in this area, then announce it to your wife and family. Now, here's what I want you to understand. Now, had this been a black person, they would have called the police. Okay, all right. But because this is his brother and they're not black, oh, we're just going to write a little nice letter and ask you, can you stop? Okay. The previous unreported letter is reprinted in full, she said, breaking the sexual harassment story that helped ignite a movement. A new book by Jody Cantor and Megan Twohey, two reporters at the New York Times who broke the story of Harvey Weinstein's alleged misdeeds, helping to spark the global Me Too reckoning. The book to be published on Tuesday by Penguin Press sheds new light on the roles that several figures played in enabling, enabling Weinstein and covering up his misdeeds and names key sources who help reporters break the story including company officials hollywood stars at hollywood stars and other victims of the producer's alleged abuse drawing on new reporting and previously undisclosed corporate records emails text messages she said uncovers more than the extent more on the extent of mr weinstein's alleged trans transgressions and the labyrinth of secret settlements and restrictive non-disclosure agreements that allowed mr weinstein and other men in positions of power to conceal their behavior and thrive in their careers in some cases finding new victims mr weinstein who's facing a criminal trial on charges of sexual assault and rape has denied ever having had non-sexual sex and pleaded non-guilty one of the central figures of the She Said is a former top executive of the Weinstein Company, Erwin Ryder. Mr. Ryder, an accountant who worked for Mr. Weinstein for decades, was increasingly alarmed by his behavior towards women and had raised concern within the company. Once again, no one calling the police. The book discloses that it was Mr. Ryder who provided the reporters, not police, with an explosive internal memo from an employee who described Weinstein's routine, routine, routine harassment of junior female employees and actresses. Mr. Ryder also alerted that Ms. Cantor and Ms. Twohey were investigating financial settlements for sexual harassments from decades ago. Two other recent accusations against Mr. Weinstein bring up new urgency to the investigation. She said similarly discloses the identity of Weinstein's accuser who has put off inquiries from journalists for 15 years. Rowena, Rowena Chiu, a former assistant at Miramax who received a settlement in 1998 after Mr. Weinstein allegedly assaulted her in a hotel room. In Ms. Chiu's account, she shares for the first time, she describing being silenced by a restrictive non-disclosure agreement and lured back at to, to a job at Miramax in an apparent effort for Mr. Weinstein to keep her close. She struggled with depression and suicide. She stayed silent for nearly 20 years, even declining to tell her husband about the predation, the predation or settlement. Okay, so the word is predation. I looked that up. Predation is a biological interaction where one organism, the predator, kills and eats another organism, its prey. Okay, so let's go back. She struggled with depression and, su and attempted suicide. She stayed silent for nearly 20 years, even declining to tell her husband about the predation or the settlement. Mr. Weinstein has disputed her story. In his first extensive comments since the Weinstein story broke, Bob Weinstein explains that he mistakenly saw his brother's problem as a sex addiction. You see, I see this as a way for them that they're trying to give Bob Weinstein a way out, even though he's complicit. In his first extensive comments since the, Bob, since the Weinstein story broke, Bob Weinstein explains that he mistakenly saw his brother's problem as sex addiction. A rationale rooted in his own previously unreported recovery from substance abuse and how he abandoned his attempts to intervene. I got worn out, he told the journalist. I said, I surrender. See, mm -hmm. he just said, you know what? I can't stop him from doing whatever he's doing. I'm just going to let him do it. I'm not going to call the police. I'm not going to take actions into my own hands. I'm not going to go get my gun and stop this situation. I'm not going to do any of these things. You know why? Because <laughs> he ain't black. All right, let's keep going. She said one of the several forthcoming books about Mr. Weinstein and the Me Too movement is also an expl exploration of investigative journalism. The book, the book chronicles how the reporting came together behind the scenes with the accounts of the journalists, first calls to the actress who they said suspected had stories about Mr. Weinstein and their efforts to identify recipients of confidential settlements. Gwyneth Paltrow, one of Mr. Weinstein's biggest stars over the years, was scared to go on the record but became an early crucial source sharing her accounts of sexual harassment and trying to recruit other actresses to speak. The attorney, now here's where it gets crazy, okay? The attorney, Gloria Allred, is one of the most vocal crusaders against sexual harassment and assault.
Ravi, attorney Gloria Allred represents several alleged victims of R. Kelly, and she says this VHS tape appears to be new evidence her client stumbled across when cleaning out boxes in his basement. Attorney Gloria Allred is holding a press conference at the Lotte New York Palace. She says it comes in response to threats and retaliation by singer R. Kelly against one of his alleged victims. He has been accused of physically and emotionally abusing more than 50 women. Let's listen into the slide. I'm attorney Gloria Allred. I represent 33 accusers of Bill Cosby. Privately, her firm helped negotiate a settlement that muffled one of Mr. Weinstein's victims in 2004, taking a 40% cut. The firm has also worked on settlements that silenced victims of Larry Nassir, or Nassar and Bill O'Reilly. In an interview for She Said, Allred defends her use of confidential settlements, arguing that the clients are not forced to sign them and offer or prefer them for reasons of privacy. If they wanted to be private, they could just not speak. What I need to sign something to say I'm not going to come forward for. Shut up. Ori is Allred's daughter. Okay? The lawyer, Lisa Bloom. A prominent victim's rights attorney. Was working behind the scenes with Mr. Weinstein at a rate of $895 an hour. To squash the journalist's investigations and thwart his accusers. Woo! Pause. What does Neely Fuller say about how the white supremacist is on every side of every argument? <laughs> in a confidential memo, Mr. Weinstein, or in a confidential memo to Mr. Weinstein that Miss Bloom wrote in December 16, which is reproduced, and she said she offered to help him damage control the, with the reputation of one of his accusers, Rose McGowan and portrayed her background as a victim's rights advocate as an asset. I feel equipped to help you against the roses of the world because I have represented so many of them. <laughs> Ms. Bloom wrote before laying out a multi-step playbook for how to intimidate accusers or paint them as liars. One of Ms. Bloom's suggested tactics for undermining Ms. McGowan, we can place an article um, regarding her becoming increasingly unglued so that when someone Googles this, it's what pops up when she is discredited. You see, black folks, sidebar, side, sidebar, black people, black people, sidebar, sidebar. You see what they do? This is what they're doing to their own. You think that we're crazy when we're telling you guys that these are conspiracy theories and all y'all calling us conspiracy theories to tell us we wear a tin hat? Look at this. Do you think, and this is what they're doing just to squash me too. Just to make, well, make me to a movement against black men. And not a movement against rapists of all kinds. It's a movement against black men. Look at what we're doing in this situation. You think they wouldn't put something on the rest of us? Look how they tried their hardest to make Dave Chappelle look like he was crazy when he didn't want to suck they dick. Okay? When he said no. When they came knocking and they told him, do what we tell you to do or we not going we not gonna say do this deal with you. He said, y'all can suck my dick. And what did they do? They painted him as crazy. All the news stories. When you Googled him, it came up. That, Is Dave Chappelle losing his mind? And now look at Dave Chappelle showing us that he is as sane as he as sane now as he was back then. <laughs> I'm gonna read that again. We can place an article regarding her becoming increasingly unglued so that when someone Googles her, this is what pops up and she's discredited. Ms. Bloom accompanied Mr. Weinstein on a surprise visit to the Times the day before the initial article was published to present the journalist with the information intended to portray several act accusers, including Ashley Judd, the first actress to go on record as an unreliable and mentally unstable. Ms. Bloom has said she was crossing sides to work with Weinstein to encourage him to apologize for his behavior. Apology. They wanted Bill Cosby behind bars. They got Bill Cosby behind bars for Benadryl that he gave people in their hands. He didn't slip it in the drinks. He gave her the Benadryl. She took the Benadryl. They said he drugged her. How? She later told reporters that she deeply regretted representing him, which she said was a colossal mistake. <laughs> the quintessential white woman. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't. No, my God. Hmm. Another member of Mr. Weinstein's legal team was attorney David Boyes, 
helped Mr. Weinstein evade evade scrutiny for his treatment of women over 15 years, working to halt reporting on the producer by news outlets, blocking the board of Mr. Weinstein's company from reviewing his personal file and helping Mr. Weinstein execute a contract with a contract with Black Cube, an Israeli private investigations firm that promised three a three hundred thousand dollar bonus if it stopped the Times investigation. Ryan Farrell, who published a separate Weinstein expose in The New Yorker in October 2017, later broke the news of Black Cube's work for Weinstein. She said reveals emails showing that during the time that Mr. Boyes represented Mr. Weinstein, the two men discussed potential film roles. Everybody wants to be in Hollywood, except for my black ass. I'm running from Hollywood. Mr. Weinstein, the two and Mr. Weinstein and the two men discussed potential film roles for Mr. Boyes' daughter, an aspiring actress. <laughs> oh, shit. In an interview for the book, Mr. Boy said he was unaware of the underhanded tactics that the Black Cube used against journalists and regretted not paying closer attention to the firm's work once again. I'm sorry. What nearly full of that? The white supremacists will give you an apology any day of the week. What you want? How many apologies you want? You want truckloads of apologies? I got truckloads of apologies. As long as I can still subjugate you. <laughs> Y'all wait on that apology. I want my check. But he defended the assistance he provided to Mr. Weinstein as a producer, sought to conceal allegations, and said he didn't have any regret that I represented him the way I did. Child, I said my... And once again, we go back... Uh, Tariq she talks about all the time that how when the Nazis were put on trial, all of them said they were just doing their job. Okay? So you hear that a lot, you know. People in certain positions, you know, when they shoot unarmed, you know, black people in the back, and they say, I was just doing my job. How can you fire me for just doing my job?